Hello friends, we are going to draw a flowchart to check the given number is positive or negative. So this is the logical start of the flowchart. Next, I am obtaining the input in a variable n. input n next I'm checking if n greater than 0 if this condition is true true I am printing n is positive. Print print positive. If n greater than zero, this is false means false means I am checking if n less than 0 if it is true means I am printing n is negative shortly negative print negative so this is true if n less than 0 false means False means print, print zero, print zero. So this is the logical end of the flowchart. This stop. I am tagging the lines to the towards the stop. So this is the this is the false flow. So this is the flow chart. I will explain how it works. Logical start of the flow chart. I am obtaining input from the user in the variable n. n greater than 0, I am printing positive. That means n is positive, shortly positive. Then it reaches the end of this flow chart. If n greater than 0, false means I am checking n less than 0. If it is true means I am printing n is negative. So n is greater than 0 is false, n less than 0 is true. In this case, it is a negative number. Okay, print negative. So here n greater than 0 false, n less than 0 also false means n is 0 because n is not greater than 0, n is not less than 0. So here n greater than 0 false, the controller take the false flow then it checks n less than 0 this is also false that means n is not greater than 0 n is not less than 0 that means okay, n is 0 I am printing 0 then it reaches the end of this flowchart logic end of the flowchart so in this manner the flowchart works now we will give some sample input for example I am giving n equal to 100 okay so it works input in n equal to 100 n greater than 0 is true my output is positive after that the flowchart will reach this the end stop so my output is positive in another case i am giving n equal to minus 10 
So we'll check n greater than 0, that is false. It will check again if n less than 0, that is true. Then it will print negative. So negative. Is my output. So another case I am giving n equal to 0. In this case, the star I am obtaining n input n, n equal to 0, n greater than 0 is false, then we we'll check n less than 0, this is also false, then we we'll print 0 and reaches the logical end of the flowchart. So it will this is 0, my output is 0. So flowchart is working perfectly, it will obtain an input, it checks whether it is a positive number or whether it is a negative number or whether it is a 0, it will give a appropriate results and this is the logical end of the flowchart. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.